your go-to celebrity crush? Sarah Island. <laughs> How am I going to answer that any other way? Like, <laughs> if I answer that any way, I'm in so much trouble. Okay, if, if not Sarah, is there any like um, actress, old or, you know? Finn Whitrock from American Horror Story. I love him. And Sarah knows this as well. I, I love him. I think he's great. We're learning a lot. Okay, yep. go to karaoke song. Uh, uh, Wanted Dead or Alive. Nice. Okay, go to friend you can call when you just accidentally killed a guy. When I just accidentally killed a guy, Matt Daddario. He'd know where to Google to put like a body. He's a big guy. He could probably like be good with a shovel and stuff. It's yeah, great. Matt Daddario. He's a good man to have. Yeah. Okay, go to romantic comedy to watch on a cozy night out with Sarah. Uh, on, we watch horror movies, so uh, The Conjuring. The Conjuring. What was the last movie you guys watched together? I think it was. I think it might have been The Second Conjuring, or it was one of the Annabelle movies. I think we sat and we just blitzed horror movies for like two months. Do you guys have the same taste when it comes yeah. to like Netflix? Yeah, like... massively so. That's yeah, good. all right. Which, yeah, it's positive. All right, go to Hangover Cure. Uh, burgers, cheeseburgers. What's your go-to burger place? McDonald's. Okay, go to weapon in the zombie apocalypse. Ah, uh, see, now I've put a lot of thought into this one already. <laughs> I've already got my answers. What's bow and arrow? Yeah. Um, Why bow and arrow? Bow and arrow because you can always make more arrows and because it's quiet. You're never going to run out of ammo and you're never going to draw any more attention. Trust me, I have a whole zombie <laughs> plan set up for like three different sets. I have one in LA, I have one in Toronto, and I have one in London. I am good. I am set. Which in one are apocalypse. you sc most scared of? Toronto, because I live in a high rise and this that's one of the hardest ones because I'm, I'm like stuck up there and I'm in the middle of the city. I can't really get down. If I run out of food, I'm stuck up there. That one's tough. That I feel like real. you're not joking. No, I'm not joking. <laughs> I'm absolutely not joking. I have zombie apocalypse plans. And you, you, anyone who's laughing, you're all are idiots for not having zombie plans, I'm telling you. All medical <laughs> science is, is keeping people alive after they should have died. I'm telling you, that's all it is. And so zombies are the next step. Make plans, people, right? It's good for the species. <laughs> so if you could give our, our, our viewers any take home of, of what I am to... not giving you any of my zombie apocalypse <laughs> tips, right? Because I'm going to, I'll be like doing mine and then you'll pop up and I'll be like, you know, I knew I shouldn't have told E because they're now there right here mooching Damn. on my zombie plans. Okay, this is good. This yeah. is this is, we're learning a lot. Okay, <laughs> go to Netflix and chill show. Netflix and chill show. Um, uh, we were just talking about Thirteen Reasons Why, and I think that's that's something I'm going to get started on because it's um, it's supposed to be brilliant. It's supposed to be amazing. All right, go to dance move. Go to dance move. You, okay, the, you, you go to the middle of the club. Uh -huh. There's a circle that forms. Like the, the dangerous like, woman comes on. <laughs> <laughs> I you walk oh, to the middle. Man, I don't the even lights know. go on. What do you do? I don't even know. Like the Carlton, probably. I mean, I'm, I embarrass myself. And now, can absolutely you show me not. A little bit absolutely right? not. There's no way. There's no way. Okay. We're gonna save that for when we're in the club together. <laughs> Is there any footage out there of you doing it? Pro almost definitely. Probably <laughs> somewhere. Yeah. I'm sure if you Google hard enough, there's footage of me doing all manner of embarrassing things. I want to see that. Yeah. Okay. Your go-to I'm sorry gift. Chocolates, right? Probably. I don't know. Like chocolate seems a little bit pedestrian. <laughs> you know, like <laughs> chocolates you can just get from the service station. No, like good chocolates though. But what kind of chocolates? Like good, like custom, twenty dollars like, maybe. Like yeah, and like you put like a note on them or whatever, and then like out of because you're a nice guy, you'd eat all of the ones that they don't like. Take so, all of those out. Wow. You know what I mean? Yeah, because you're like a good, like a decent. Or like when was the last time or... you had to give someone chocolates? Not, not. I say it doesn't happen to me very often. I don't think. Like I, I, I'm, I think I'm fairly inoffensive, so I don't like it's very, it's very rare that I like. He was inoffensive. Yeah, exactly. Like it's very rare that I've made someone angry to the point of like, of having to buy them anything to fix it. So my dog, I stepped on my dog's tail the other day, and I felt really bad. Dog chocolates.